Star Wars only, I don't know what the fuck your problem is. If you remember last year, they announced that David Benoff and D.B. Weiss were going to make their own Star Wars films. We didn't know how many, it just said they were going to get their own series of films. Could have been two, three, four, we never knew. They never specified. But it looks like they're actually getting their own trilogy. And now we know that last year Disney also said that, hey, we're halting all production on any other film other than Episode Nine. All things are pointing towards Episode Nine, and that's all we're going to focus on. And a lot of people have speculated that Episode Nine is the course correction, it's the ride or die. If it does well, you'll get more Star Wars films. If it flops, you probably won't. But that may not be the case anymore, because HBO Network President Casey Bloys, I believe I'm saying their name right, has said some interesting stuff that I think we should talk about. They say Dan and David are finishing up the final season of Game of Thrones, and then they're going into the Star Wars universe. When they come out of that, I assume they will come back to us. Now the reason that is interesting is because Game of Thrones ends in 2019, and after 2019, after they're done with Game of Thrones, they're going to go start working on their Star Wars films. Now, we've been told recently by Disney that everything's only focusing on Episode 9. Everything else has been, you know, that's not even in production anymore. Everything's been kind of postponed. Well, they're going to start working on their film right after 2019. And that means that, you know, it's going to take a few years. It's not going to be like, oh, 2020, we're getting a new Star Wars film, or 2021. But maybe in 2022, maybe in 2023, that's when they're going to start production on the new trilogy. And... They're working on a new show with HBO called Confederate, and, and people were kind of giving them crap about how two white guys are working on a Confederate show or a lack of racial diversity helming a show about slavery. That's what the article's saying. So there's some controversy around those two guys working on that show, but here's what the network president says the delay has been about because the show was delayed. The network president confirms that the show wasn't delayed because of the controversy. Here's what they say. The delay has to do with the fact that they were offered three movies. Now that is the confirmation that they are going to be working on three Star Wars films. And what's interesting about this is that they're going to work on that Confederate show when they're done with all three Star Wars films. I assume. Because it, in the original quote, the guy said, you know, when, they're, when they come out of that, I assume they will come back to us. Honestly, it sounds like they're working on a brand new Star Wars trilogy. What's the trilogy about? I hope it's the Old Republic era. That's all I hope. I don't care if it's about Revan. I don't care if it's about Malgus or, or anything like that. I just hope it's a Old Republic trilogy. That would be a dream come true. But anyways, we're getting, we're getting a new Star Wars trilogy. Relatively soon. Now, I don't know when the Ryan Johnson trilogy is coming out. I would assume not in between because that would really confuse a lot of fans. But, or casual audiences, you know, if it, you have, you know, 2022, this new trilogy, and then 2023, you have Ryan Johnson's first installment to his trilogy, and then 2024, you have a second installment to the Game of Thrones guys trilogy. That would be really confusing for a lot of people, but in the end, we're getting a new trilogy, guys. Not, not just a set of films, two, three, or four. We're getting three brand new films from the Game of Thrones writers, David Benoff and D.B. Weiss. I'm not sure if it's the best news in the world, but I do think it's interesting because it does mean more Star Wars films. And relatively soon, they're going to start working on it relatively soon after 2019, after Game of Thrones ends. Pretty interesting news, honestly. Tell me your thoughts below. What do you guys think about all this? Are you excited that we actually are going to have more films after Episode 9? Or do you think that, you know, even if Episode 9 does well or doesn't do well, it may not impact the future of the franchise and we may not be getting any more films after Episode 9? But it does seem like we are getting some. So, you know, speculate all you want, but right now, proof's in the putting more films after Star Wars Episode 9. Star Wars is here to stay for a while, and let's see how it goes. Tell me your thoughts below. What are your guys' thoughts on this? I'm Star Wars Only. I'll see you all next time, and may the Force be with you, always.